I grabbed Wukong in a recent PlayStation Store sale as it was going dirt cheap. And the main reason I got it was because it reminded me of Crash Bandicoot with its Crash 1 inspired gameplay. And I love those platformers, so I wanted to get this. Even better was the fact that it was an easy game to platinum with 20 trophies to unlock, 8 of which were gold. Hmm, <laughs> perfect. But of those 8, the unfazed trophy for beating the descent level without ever taking damage was perhaps the most challenging thing in the game, as getting through that long level without making a mistake was tricky, and to be honest, it took me more goes than I was expecting. It's the kind of curveball trophy that has this huge difficulty spike when compared to the rest of the ones in the game. However, if we were to compare it to a Crash Bandicoot level, then this challenge wouldn't even come close. That one bullshit PlayStation trophy. Still, despite that, there are many awkward areas in this level where it's easy to take damage from the enemies and fail this trophy, especially from the enemies who throw rocks as annoyingly they'll throw them off screen so they can hit you out of nowhere when you can't even see them. The flying enemies, oh my god, the flying enemies were also a pain as these will chase after you and their hitboxes just seemed rather wonky because you'll try and hit them and you'll end up getting hurt too and this happened to me quite a lot which was really annoying as I'm clearly hitting them with my big staff stick yet I'm getting hit at the same time and it just always felt cheap and I didn't really have a foolproof way to ever hit them safely and not take damage myself. This added to the panic as they chased after me and usually led to me just panicking and twitching the stick and ended up making another mistake and getting hit. <sighs> In terms of the platforming, there's a couple of tricky parts in the level where you have to move these platforms and then quickly jump across them before they move back, but they are generally okay and the jumping is fairly solid, but when the bats, those flying enemies, are present, again, they are perhaps the number one trophy ruiner here. All in all though, this trophy unfazed isn't too bad. It's just made harder by the roughness of the game, but when you buy it for like a pound off the stool, you can't really complain too much, even if there is a lot of bad collision detection with the enemies. If the game was more polished, this likely would have been a one or two tries to unlock kind of trophy. As it stands though, this game isn't great, but if you want an easy Crash Bandicoot styled platformer to waste a couple of hours on, then get it if it's cheap like it was for me, as it is another platinum trophy. As for the unfazed trophy, well, like I said, it is doable, but it's just annoying and frustrating when you fail due to some BS part of the game, or those flying things that just hit you because of the poor collision detection. Every time I failed, it kind of felt like it was more the game's fault than my own, especially when it came to those birds. Screw those flying fuck. 